Today we're looking at another tablet from TCL, this time the Tab Max. 10.4 inch. I actually bought this one on sale under $200. Regular price is $299. I'll leave a link in the description of the video with current pricing and more information. It's got a 10.36 inch full HD plus display, 2000 by 1200 resolution. It's got six gigabytes of RAM, 256 gigabytes of storage. You can also expand the storage with a micro SD card. It's got a Snapdragon 665 processor, 8,000 milliamp hour battery, full HD plus display, comes with Android 11. It's got an 8,000 milliamp hour battery with 18 watt fast charging. It's got a 13 megapixel rear facing camera, eight megapixel front facing. Overall, I feel like these are pretty good specs for the price. Inside the box, you've got a micro SD card removal tool, quick start guide, safety and warranty information, USB-C to USB-A charging cable, USB wall adapter is included, so that's good to see. So you've got a plastic back on here, sort of has an interesting texture to it. Nice camera set up there on the back, also looks like you've got a flash there as well. A little bit different than some of the other tablets I've seen, this one's got a nice rounded edge to it. You can see you've got speakers on both sides. USB-C charging port is actually on the top on this one, so that's definitely a little different. Power buttons on the top, volume buttons there on the side, or top if you have this in landscape mode. Sure, this doesn't feel like it's a premium tablet or anything, but still pretty good build quality. Front facing camera right in the center, on the long edge. You also get face unlock with this one. This also has their next vision and video and game enhancement. Basically just a little bit more color, contrast, and depth of detail. You also have two different home screen styles. One with the app drawer, one without where it just copies everything to the home screen. Personally, I kind of like the app drawer. Same thing with the lock screen, you've got two different options to choose from. As you can see, pretty slim bezels all the way around. The screen quality on this actually looks better than what you would expect. It could be a tad bit brighter. Overall, pretty good though. When you swipe left of the home screen, you're gonna get Google Discover or their newsfeed. I feel like their software is close to stock Android, but just a few things that you can adjust. Looks like if you swipe up and hold for one second with two fingers to access the privacy app, you can see most of the pre-installed apps are the ones from Google. Overall, the user interface looks pretty nice on here, really. Pretty simple notification shade here. You've got most of your basic stuff like Wi-Fi, flashlight, Bluetooth, auto-rotate, sound, airplane mode, mini notification, notification, NXT vision, do not disturb, location, screen recorder, screencast, dark mode, battery saver, eye comfort mode, screenshot, nearby share, and then it looks like you can add about five other things. You can go up to 2160p resolution on YouTube videos. Surprisingly, you've got full HD playback resolution on apps like Netflix. You don't really see that a lot on more budget devices like this. You can see here by the Geekbench scores, not gonna be the fastest tablet out there, but still somewhat comparable to the Galaxy Tab A8 or other budget tablets like that. You're also gonna notice in games, the graphics aren't gonna be as good on this tablet. I tested PUBG Mobile, Asphalt 9, Apex Legends Mobile, and as you're playing, yeah, the performance is gonna stutter here and there. This probably isn't gonna be your first choice as far as a gaming tablet goes, but I still think it's gonna be okay for gaming. Probably just gonna depend on what games you're playing. Battery life on here is actually really good, lasting over eight hours in my battery drain test at 100% screen brightness. So you should have plenty of juice to get you through a couple days of normal usage, especially if you turn the screen brightness down. I'm not sure what TCL plans for this tablet, but hopefully you'll get software updates. And as long as you don't need a headphone jack, this is a more affordable tablet with good screen resolution that might make this one worth getting. It sort of looks like you've got two speakers on each side of the tablet, but you can tell when playing it, they're just one on each side. Let me give you a quick sample, just to give you an idea of what these sound like.
pretty simple camera app here. You've got video, auto, you've got a lot of different filters you can choose from, stop motion, up to 1080p resolution for video recording. Definitely not gonna be the fastest shutter speed out there. But the quality actually looks pretty decent, at least in my studio lighting. Here's a few samples of photos and video just to give you an idea of what to expect. As you can tell by these photos and video samples, again, not gonna be the best out there. I thought the photos were fine as far as the quality goes, uh, but trying to record video on the rear camera, it did have a little bit of problems focusing once there was something close to the camera and then it was far away. It kind of struggled to get everything into focus. Hopefully this video gave you a little closer look at the TCO Tab Max. It's actually a better tablet than I expected. Now I do actually like the software on this tablet and the resolution is pretty good on here for YouTube videos, Netflix. So if you're just wanting this to watch that kind of stuff, this is actually a good option in my opinion. Personally, I wouldn't pay full price for this because it is more of a budget tablet and the cheaper you can get it, definitely the better. So if you've made it this far into the video, you may want to say thanks by subscribing and don't forget to give a thumbs up if this video was helpful. This is Brian from Fishbee Productions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.